All right, this morning, let's see what the topic of the morning is. What is the topic of the morning? What is the pointing today? First card out is silence. Silence. Okay, second card out is ninth house faith. The ninth house faith. Last one is time to go. Okay, time to go. So if you are someone, and, and what this is boding to me, those that are developing uh, psychic skills, intuition, um, working with your cards, or just, again, getting that gut feeling, um, the best way to do it is, for one, you know, have faith that it's going to be willing to uh, take that path and walk forward. You know, it's very difficult to see, but back here is a door. Okay, uh, you got to be willing to walk your journey. Okay, have faith. And here we have, you know, palmistry, and they've got, I don't know why they have a Ouija board. I don't advocate people use Ouija boards, but um, to, to look into things uh, that are beyond your normal um, everyday mind drama, the best way to get there to unlock that door, the keys, keys to using these tools is to sometimes go into Silence, okay? You know, it's when, um, if you ever noticed that you go to try to think of something and you can't think of it, and the minute you kind of forget about it and you let it go for a minute and you, you just, you know, the mind stills for a second, then it pops in. It's like that. So that silence, give yourself some time to take a breath, okay? Quit trying to look for it so hard and let it pop in, okay? It's when you're quiet that the guides and your masters and the ones on the other side can impress things on you. Now, some people have visual, they have visual things, keys that they get. Some of them, like myself, I have more of a just a knowing or a... Um, feeling, impression, things are impressed, um, you enter a, another type of energy, and then you get these, the feelings, you get this, you know, um, that's the best way I can describe it, how it works here. It's just either knowing, full-blown that, well, yeah, everybody should know that, you know, it, it's just there. Either that or there is, a, a, you're entering into that energy and you can decipher that energy by how it makes you feel, okay? You may uh, see someone or something and all of a sudden you get this really icky feeling, okay? So again, you start learning how to pay attention to those things. Um, when you start opening up, and especially if you're empath and empathic, and you go close to someone's energy and you start picking it up, sometimes in the beginning it can be a bit confusing because you're going, is this my thing or is this somebody else's? You may get close to somebody and all of a sudden your mood changes or, you know, uh, something happens 
And, uh, you know, you, you recognize, well, that's odd because, you know, it really doesn't have anything to do with how you've been feeling. And all of a sudden there's a shift. Well, then you might be an empath. You're picking up energies from somewhere else. So you have to learn how to um, figure out what is your energy and what is something else and how to disconnect from that. Okay, you don't have to take all these things in. Okay, so um, be a little selective in what you're taking in. I know, like I said, the first time that it happened here, was on healing mode, doing healing for people. You know, I was, and I've talked about this before, standing in line and I go closer and this guy was in front of me, my throat would hurt. And I'd back up, it would quit and I'd get closer, it would hurt again. So I was picking up his energy and I asked him, you have a sore throat? He said, yes, it's, you know, I picked up his energy and uh, was able to do healing on him. And it was just immediate knowledge that was there how to do it. It wasn't something that I took a Reiki class or any of those things. <laughs> it was just there. And sometimes it's like that when you're on a path, something will come in full blown for you. Um, all of a sudden, it'll, it'll just be there. Uh, it's like um, reading Tarot. Now, some people sit there and study all the symbology and, and, you know, study the cards for years. Some of us read it intuitively, how it makes you feel in the moment. Okay, and it might be totally 100% different from what they're saying the card means. You know, you, you'll be reading it and somebody else, that card doesn't mean that. It means, well, no, I'm not reading it from a book. Okay, <laughs> you read it intuitively how the cards all sit together and how how that makes you feel what you you know one time you might pick up one thing from the card like one time i may pick up the keys from this card in another time i might just pick up her tattoo here or something you know different times you look at them you may pick up other different things um it's kind of like this card as well. If you see that she's really kind of, um, she's not like fully formed. She's kind of like a spirit if you look at this. So sometime you might pick it, that up. In this time what I picked up is there is a door uh, pretty far away. And uh, you got to be willing to go towards that. We've got the door here. We've got the door over here. So if you want to, do that path and it's time to open those things. Okay, so it's time to go. It might be time to, to open those more for you. And uh, this is the key to how to do that. You know, have faith that you can do it. Don't discount and say, I can't. If you say you can't, then you've already locked that door. Okay, um, so be willing to go forward. Uh, in this case, you know, silence, but she's also kind of seeing what's there. Okay, got the door in front of her. She's not looking there. She's looking back. She's looking, you know, she's feeling somebody's there. Something's there, and she's looking to see what it is. Okay, it's the same thing. You build on this feeling. You can feel this energy shift. Um, but like I said, everybody has different um, elements, different ways that they work. Some are working um, on energy. You just feel that energy. You can step into somebody's energy. Um, and everything is connected. It's like, you know, when I've done energy work on people, like I, I'll be here working and they're in India. And they feel it like, boom, you know, it, it knock them off their butt sometimes. You know, it's because you're connected. There is connections there, okay? Uh, so you're able to delve into their energy or they are able to, you know, if they open, you, you can, uh, that energy then just uh, goes and does what it needs to do if you're doing healing work, okay?
Um, now I'm not doing healing work at the moment because, you know, I want to wait. I've got, you know, these physical issues going on now and sometimes I'm just uh, absolutely exhausted. So I've got to find out what's going on with the form here. Um, you know, so at this present time, I'm not doing the, um, I'm not doing the energy work and things for people. Um, so that's on the back burner for now. <laughs> Until we get all these physical, Lord knows what dramas, you know, get them taken care of. But anyway, uh, today's thing is, is again, um, time to move forward. The energies are shifting. We're coming into the age of Aquarius. So new things are going to be starting to open up. Um, and I think that this is a time to, if you want to work more with the um, energies and uh, intuition and things, main thing to open those up is to learn to enter silence okay still yourself let your breathing relax okay don't push so hard to get it sometimes you push so hard and then you are pushing it away rather than opening the door to allow it to come in but it's more of becoming aware of how you feel, what's visually coming, you know, and find out um, how it works for you. If working with cards works for you, if that opens the door, you know, the cards are just a medium for opening the door, uh, opening the door um, to new interpretations okay you may look at a card and see something totally different be impressed with uh what it is like this card sovereignty okay you may pick up something um you know not to feel so small in front of others you could pick up something different than than what the card is saying okay um as well sometimes you may see it but you're feeling that it's in the negative you're feeling that it is the opposite of what is being said the sovereignty that maybe things are not so sovereign that they are you know in decline or something you may get that impression from it uh, depending on other cards that are around it as well yeah, like this one, 12th house, escape, okay, escape, okay. So if you see sovereignty and you see escape, you may get something different from the combination of those than what it says, exchanging gifts. So we have them standing in front of this big statue, Sovereignty, Escape, and we see her coming out of the box, exchanging gifts. Well, maybe it's, you're not doing the escape, maybe it's time to, to not limit yourself, okay? So you, you read the cards depending on how the, uh, the three of them or whatever, if you're doing more cards. I happen to use more than one. Um, that's just the style that works for me. Everybody, you develop your own style too, or, or you develop your own way of reading, or maybe you have one layout that works for you better than another, or you can create your own layout, okay? For me, I just happen to like to use uh, an oracle card and then two, two tarot decks, different decks, okay, and then sometimes I'll use yet, yet another to uh, bring in a little more. If I need a little more, I want to have a little more in depth with it. But this is something you work with and uh, you, you see what works for you, okay. 
there's no right or wrong. Don't let somebody tell you that it's wrong for you not to study all the books. You know, each each deck, when you get a new deck, the, the uh, guidance things in it is according to the person that made the deck, what it means to them, okay? And that's wonderful, that's well and good, but you have to see what it means for you. When you're using these, see what it means for you, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully somebody's gotten something of value out of this today. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, again, just be aware of how you feel with things under the surface. You know, things may look great, you know, uh, on the surface, Physically, you can see some, like maybe you see somebody, they're very handsome or something, but you just get this uneasy kind of a creepy feel. Pay attention to that, you know, pay attention. And then you, you'll say, but no, they look like they're so upstanding and, and you know, but if you get that, that indication, you get that, you know, pay attention to it. Like I said, some people, you know, well, you've got these people out there, serial killers. On, on the surface, they appear to be okay. But then they've got a, a trigger switch that's something that just, you know, so if you get around somebody and you're feeling like, you know, there's something unsettling, don't play it off and say it's my imagination or something. Pay attention to it. Pay attention to it. Um... Yeah, so I'm just going to leave that here. Just pay attention to what's going on and the shifting of the energy. If you are feeling some unease, you're feeling something, then again, pay attention and uh, stay grounded. Don't, don't let it push you in fear and let your mind run away with you. That's not what I'm saying to do. Just pay attention to it. Stay grounded. Stay centered. But be aware. Open yourself to more awareness. Okay? More quietude opens you to more awareness. Okay? So love and light to everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you online.